So welcome back here at the National Cricket Stadium in St. George's and uh, we've got our second match today and uh, Trinidad and will be locking horns in battle. They'll be lock locking horns with Ghana. Trinidad and Tobago, and Tobago against Ghana. The news is that Ghana has won the toss and will bat. So Ghana winning the toss and will bat. So we're getting ready to commence the second match of the day here. So this is the first ball, just in case you've missed it. Kind of won the toss and they've decided to bat. And uh, Kubir and Boudoir opening for Ghana. Redhead with that characteristic approach would move in. So here's a second delivery of uh, this encounter. Redhead to bowl to Kubir, who is coming forward and drives the ball neatly out to mid off, short mid off, and uh, there is no run. So it is. Uh, I've not had any interruption, uh, Ali, which is very good. Yeah, uh, the clothes has been hanging around, but the rain is yet to come. Red hair to red hair to Kabir wrapped on the path that the appeal for like before. Stifle appeal that ball goes out on the offside. That was pitch out at the leg stump. There's no way he's gonna get a leg before decision for that. So Ghana yet to score. Kabir and Boudoua opening the innings. What has happened there? I think you were struck on the tie. I suspect that there is no tie pad. So you can see where he's rubbing. Just, uh, that could be that bone just in the waist there. And that could be a, a very hard, a very painful knock. Uh, it looks as if you know he's moving the legs. He's trying to work it out, as we'll say. Not too sure how that happens, but he's been doing a bit of exercises. The physio is on, so I suspect that he will get uh, the proper medical attention. Uh, the players are just uh, middling around. I see. There's sort of strict uh, guidance in towards the youth cricketers injured. They had to leave the field. So we'll see what is happening. So you're not missing any play. They just into the first over. Just uh, three deliveries. And you look as if he's all set to go again. Uh, the medical did the job yeah well they they're getting the job very done very quickly medical personality so no harm done I was a little surprised though that that was such a painful blow or accepted as a painful blow so Ghana yet to score three deliveries gone redhead is in and bowls coming forward and driving through the line, ball going up to extra cover, and uh, there is no run. So, it's a quiet afternoon here at the National Cricket Stadium. Here is uh, Reddit in now and bowls to Kabir, who is coming forward and driving, gets it out to extra cover, can't beat the short extra cover field and uh, there is no run very quiet afternoon early days in the innings Kabir faces up to redhead and he is driving driving up to long off they go to for a single and they get it quite comfortably too hit the ball on the run good response there by 
uh, Boudoir, who saw the opportunity, well called home for the single. And uh, Kabir taking a single off the last delivery, and he'll have opportunity to uh, to face up the bowling. A steady over by the opening bowler uh, for Trinidad, uh, Redhead just pitching just on our body off stump, uh, having the batsman pitching well up. A very uh, prominent set off side field. There's only three people on the on side, and yesterday. And that came in for some criticism there where they at, uh, set the field on one side and the batsmen were playing the shots on the other. Uh, they have continued with that, three people on the on side. Uh, but the bowling has been more on target in the first over. So it's going to be an over by Charles. And Charles will be bowling to Kabir. Just a one slip in. And he's there, bowls. Uh, the ball is hit uh, just in front of square on the offside. And uh, there is no run. So Kabir is on one. Boudoir yet to score. Well, he hasn't faced a delivery as yet. Again on the 15, just a one without loss. We're in over number two. Yeah, and um, the Trinidad team prominently set offside. There's a slip on the backward point, a cover, extra cover, and a mid off, and a third man. Yeah, here is a delivery that is looking to turn down to maybe down to fine leg. Ball probably came on a little faster than anticipated. Struck him on the pad and went out on the offside. Total remains on one without loss. So uh, containing stuff here by Trinidad and Tobago. Not wanting Ghana to get off into a, a galloping start as it's once more Charles in to bowl to Kubir who is driving up to mid off will get a comfortable single two and that has been the feature of uh, this uh, tournament so far virtually all the balls that have gone on to mid on and mid off singles have been scored of them yeah but uh, most of the uh, fielders are on the edge of the circle and uh, I, uh, their position is also had to be anticipation what the man is going to do. You don't leave too early and a lot of times they wait uh, uh, after the shot is being played to make the move and that gives the batsman enough time to get a single. Boudoua is yet to score as Charles moves in to bowl to him. And he is uh, stretching for that outside the Ostrom. Young power for a little fleeting moment. Probably thought that that was uh, on the wider side, but then decided against it. It was close. Uh, and slicker. That is why maybe in future you have to look at what is a wide in relation to the age group. <laughs> it's not going to change, I doubt. Here is again is Charles moving in now to bowl to Boudoua. Boudoua is going lazily at one outside the stump, played over the top of it. Gonzalez collect behind the stump and the total remains on two without loss. So very good start here by Trinidad and Tobago restricting Ghana. Don't forget this is a 15 over the encounter. So getting a good start and a good total is very important for the side batting first. Here is Boudoir. Uh, drives nicely out to cover. They will get a single. So he's finally out the mark. He's on one. And uh, the over has uh, just come to an end. So it's a very slow start here by Ghana on the 15. There three without loss. Two overs gone. Uh, in 15 in a shorter version of the game. And this one is 15. Uh, one would wonder about the winning the toss and choosing the bat. You know, uh, teams prefer to see what is on the board. Uh, I think the Guyanese want to set the pace. They choose the bat. A very, very slow start. Yes. Mm. Uh, it's important, of course, to utilize that power play. So very important. So here is a new over by Redhead, who is moving in to bowl to Boudoir. He's bowl, he bowls, Boudoir is off the back foot, on the front foot, sorry, and sweeps that down to the deep mid-wicket boundary. They come back for the second run. The return comes into the bowler's end, 
and Redis is there to back up. He's done very well. So he's gone out to three, Boudoir. And the total has pushed on out to five. Five without loss. Guyana winning the toss and batting. As Redhead again is in, bowls to Boudoir, who is looking to sweep that across the line. There's an appeal for caught behind, not outside the umpire. Why would he want to take that from outside the arse stump and try to swing it through mid-wicket? I would never know. It was an ideal opportunity for him to push the left pad alley down and across and drive it through extra cover. Yeah, and it's not very often you see a batsman sweeping a piece bowler. Ooh. And he's only in his second over. Here's Redhead again to bowl to Boudoir, who to this delivery is coming forward and he clips that down to the mid-wicket area. That's a fine shot. That's four runs. I would love to see that again on the replay. I, I love it, really. Played across the line, but you know what? So Viv Richard says, if you can get to the pitch of the ball, then you can do whatever you want with it. And he really got to the pitch of that one. And from outside, he often clipped it to mid-wicket and went down to the boundary for four. Uh, Let's look at it, Ali, here. Outside, he Yes. Often. But but I think uh, Guyana has learned from what they saw Leeward Islands did Trinidad yesterday uh, that a greater percentage of the runs came on the on side because there are only three players there. And I think the Guyanese intent is to play the ball on the on side. Right ahead now, balls to Boudoir, who is coming forward. And uh, there's a, a, a stifle appeal for leg before. The ball goes down to fine leg and uh, it's going to go over the boundary line. It in, in fact goes for four. The umpire says that that's four runs. Yeah. Yeah. So Budwa has gone to 11 and the total has pushed on to 13 without loss. Yeah. And, and, and you can see again, they have actually scored two boundaries already on the onside. And Trinidad continue with that set feel of just three people on the onside. And again, kind of capitalizing on it as uh, the Leeward Islands did yesterday. Yeah, it was, uh, Richie just whispered into my ear the previous delivery was beautiful exuberance by Boudoir. <laughs> I remember doing something naughty back then, and somebody told me, and I thought that that was youthful folly. <laughs> Here, once more, is Boudoir. In now, sorry, Dominic read it, in the boat to Boudoir, well, he doesn't. Uh, go through and all of a sudden the run rate has gone to 4.88 yeah three, two boundaries so far in the over uh, one boat on the onside and Trinidad has no strength in there put no man on the fine leg boundary here is Redhead the ball to Boudoir who is <laughs> driving the ball up to Logard that's going to go for four well you probably heard a, a little bit of laughter in my talk there because a delivery that you normally see driven up maybe through the offside. He tugged it from outside the Austin, and it went down to long on for four. Oh I think that even the long on feeler might have been a little bit surprised by that. Uh, Mid on, rather. I think it's a, a shot you could describe as a sweeping drive. <laughs> I haven't seen it. it was a very strange shot. Rather strange. That yielded four, though. Well, yeah, once boys read it. In now, both to Boudoir, who is coming for a beaten outside the off stump. Collected behind the stumps by Gonzales. So the over has come to an end, and the run rate has now skyrocketed to 5.67. Three overs gone, 17 without loss. After playing, uh, I think, four or five sweep shots <laughs> in, the, in that over, I think he would be disappointed that he decided not to sweep the fifth delivery and he missed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, it's yeah, very exciting. And he's a little guy and I think probably that way he'll get his paw. The sweep and the pull. He's not going for the drives. And uh, you got to play to your strength. And he really did in that over. Uh, hitting three boundaries in, in, in the over and really uh, propelled the, the run rate to a, a reasonable uh, five runs per over. Yeah, very well. Here is Kabiru. He's moving in. Sorry, Reddit. Sorry, that's uh, Charles moving in to bowl to uh, Boudoir, who that's Kabir rather, who pushes the ball out on the offside. Got a single. He's now pushed by one to three. Total has gone to 18. 
the good thing is that we have not had an extra as yet, uh, Ali, which is good. Yeah. Feel changing over to accommodate Boudoir. 15 years. Here is Charles in both the Boudoir outside the off stump. Not surprised that he didn't get a bat onto that one because he stretched for it rather than seeking to get across to get on top of the ball. Gonzalo stopping behind the stumps. Total remains on 18 without loss. We're in over number four. Ball here by Sion Charles from the far end. Slip, third man, backward point. Cover extra, cover mid off. Long on, mid wicket. And there is a backward square. The third man is going to be pulled into the circle and the extra cover that was inside would be pushed down to the sweeper position. Here now is Charles would move into bowl to Boudoir. He is commencing his approach now, leans forward then begins to straighten up his approach. He's there, bowls to Boudoir who advances down the track, pushes the ball up on the offside, doesn't score Total remains on 18 without loss. As uh, it was uh, Boudou who came across there from mid off to cut the ball off. Here is uh, Charles again getting ready to bowl to Boudou, who's been very enterprising for his 50s there now on bowls. And he is driving that ball just in front of square on the offside to squarish cover. Gets a comfortable single. So one more to Boudoir who's now gone on to 16. And the total has gone to 19 without loss. Brings Kubir who is 3 back into strike. And the field changing over for the left-handed Kubir. Kubir has faced 10 balls for his 3 runs. In contrast to Boudoir who scored 16 of 12 balls. Charles to Kubir who is coming forward and uh, looking to drive and uh, doesn't make the kind of contact that he wanted. The ball going just in front of him on the offside. Uh, Gonzalez just peeling off the glove and just in case the batsman would have gone for a single. All is well that ends well they say. 19 without loss Kubir facing up once more to Charles here he comes in now and bowls and he is driving up to mid off and as usual there is a comfortable single one more to Kabir who's now gone on to four and the total has pushed on to 20 without loss Ali de Bellot has just slipped away I suspect he's gonna have an early lunch <laughs> Shirley Clark is coming. Shirley, good, good afternoon to you. Very good afternoon. Ah, there was a big smile on your face. The Barbados won the game. Yeah, won the game. <laughs> and quite but comfortably in the end, I think by 26 runs. Yeah, well done to the Barbados team. Congratulations to that group. Yeah, but you were not very happy with the batting, were you? No, no, still not pleased with the batting. But the bowling was excellent. Yes, that's when you've got uh, one weak area in a particular performance you'd expect somewhere in your artillery you'll dig for your strength and get it and they dug in the bowling strength and they got it and in the end quite comfortably too yeah really had to dig deep yes well played but we weren't disappointed that they um, scored just a modest total new over for Nilie is going to move in now to bowl to Kubir. Here he is, sneaking past the umpire, wrong the wicket, bowls. Kubir is off the back foot, pushes the ball out to short extra cover. No aggressive intention there. And the ball went bouncing up merrily to be picked up by the extra cover fielder. Station there, very important position this. As uh, is put there to cut off the single here is a delivery by Fornilia outside the Austin onto the back foot looking to swing that two mid wicket the ball peels off the outer portion of the bat will go into the boundary now that four runs down to third man inadvertently goes down to third man maybe he was rushed a little bit short onto the back foot he went and was looking to pull it through the onside 
Ball peeled off the outer edge, down to third man, four runs to Kubir. He's gone to A, that's not where he wanted it to go, but he wanted, the boundary got it, 24 without loss. A positive intent though, by the batsman. Um, getting the required result, but not the execution of the shot. For Nilla. Good. Move in to ball to Kabir. Just an adjustment. The third man is now put back uh, almost on the boundary. In for Nilla. In balls outside the Austin onto the back foot. Made a few exploratory steps down. And I think quite rightly too that Boudoir sent him back. It would have been very difficult for Boudoir to get up there in that space of time which was rather limited and quite rightly sent him back total remains on 24 for without loss sorry we're in over number five ball here by Fornilla he is in now and bowls and uh, he is looking to drive not getting to the pitch of the ball not going across it's Kabir ball keeping low and Gonzalo collects behind the stumps just the third man in, squarish, uh, backward point, squarish cover, extra cover short in. On the circle is mid off, uh, mid on also, as Fonilla turns once more, wrong the wicket. He's there now and bowls, and uh, the ball turned up to mid wicket by Kubir, gets a comfortable single. And, uh, well, the throw was not the best, but cleaned up by Gonzalez in the end. There was a for a fleeting moment thought about the single and decided against it overthrow that quarter century mark has been posted now by Guyana 25 without loss they're scoring at 5.36 so that's a good start definitely a good, a good start good rhythm to the innings for Nilla goes back with a slip in third man backward point extra cover and uh, cover right on, right on the circle. Mid off, mid on. For Nilla in now. And bowls to Budwa outside the off stump. Opens the face of the bat. Glides that down behind square on the offside. They've gone for one. Will come back for the second. The return will come into the keeper. Good return. Just brought him forward a bit. But with no great degree of difficulty. And the batsman had time to cross for two. So two more to Boudoir, who has now gone on to 18. And the total has now pushed on to 27 without loss. So that should have been Kabir, sorry. 27 without loss, and uh, that completes the power play. Yeah, after the power play, there's 27, but not a bad start. But again, team. A nice classic stroke just now uh, by, by Buddha to get to, to collect two runs to the other side. So with this platform they had built, they have built, and uh, with the five overs gone, great opportunity for them now to push on from here. So Kabir will face up a change of bowling Yashir Dean whose name I like has a lovely ring about it I see her yeah and uh, he's going to move in to bowl to Kabir who's on nine sun has come out return it's been a sort of cat and mouse with the sun and the clouds, but no rain. Yashir Dean bowls. He's coming forward and clips that nicely. Down to backward square. That's going to go all the way. Four runs. Well, he advanced down the track and hit it lovely. Used the wrist very well. Good shot there by Kubir. Yielded him four. He's gone to 13. 31 without loss. Good confidence stroke there by Kubir. Um, to bring a boundary. Yeah, that was lovely. Uses wrist very well. Dean, once more from the far end, is treated harshly with his first ball. He's in now to bowl to 
Kabir, he's just about there, and he is looking to swing that, and well, he is gone. After a, after a four, just went for a big swing, missed everything, and so Guyana on the 15, they've lost the first wicket. Kabir goes, bowled by Yashir Dean for 13, and Guyana 31 for one. We just praised him for a great shot, and that was an ugly one. Yeah, definitely. Head bent right up in the air, not watching the ball closely, and not being able to execute the shot. Well, bowled to Dean. That's a Dean. Well, so just lost an important wicket, but an important breakthrough. Very important breakthrough there for uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Ghana losing the first wicket. Hetma is just coming to replace Kabir. Bull by Dean for 13. Yeah, that was a schoolboy shot. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, after hitting the first ball for four, um, the bowler just slowed it up a little bit and going for another big shot. I was bowled down. So Hetma is going to be facing up now, uh, facing up to yes, your dear is Dean. Here he is now, bowls. He is uh, looking to open the face of the bat, glides it. The ball might have just uh, come on to him and then he patted it on the outside. Keeper comes out from behind the stumps, picks up. Ashir Dean again moves in and bowls uh, to this delivery. He's coming forward. They've got to hurry for the single. The return comes in on the ram. Maybe that may not have been the best approach. So that little on the ram, which means that it's not a powerful throw, would allow the batsman to give that batsman just that little moment. It marries one. Boudoir 18 comes in to strike. Here is Dean in now and bowls. Pudwa is coming forward, opens the face of the bat, gets it down to uh, backward point. They will in fact come back for the second run as the fielder behind square hurled the return at the non-striker's end. Overthrow and the batsman had time to cross for another run. So uh, the total has now moved on to 34 for one. Budwa has gone to 20. And that's the, how important it is to go for that first round very quickly. Here once more is Yashir Dean. One for seven so far into his first over. This is the final delivery coming up. In now to bowl to Boudoir. He's there and bowls. He is looking to pull that through the onside. Looking to sweep really. Doesn't make contact. Might have been advised rather to just maybe come down the track and drive it up to long off for a single decided against that so uh, 20 to boudoir hetma is taking strike he's on one and guyana uh batting first they're 34 for one after six yeah again it's showing some real urgency running between the wickets uh it's good to see that and um, between that and tobago team will have to sharpen it in the field you know if they're to um get a run out they're on course to get maybe 90 or above that. The Ghana on the 15 team. The guard is taken there by Hitma, who's the new batsman. And uh, Fornilla is going to move in to bow to him now. Taps away at the crease, then holds the bat up. He's there now, Fornilla in and bowls. And Hitma gets a wide delivery outside the arch dump doesn't have to play good tumbling save there by Gonzalo and uh, the umpires just signal that that was a wide so this is the first extra inning well done by Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. yeah and that was really wide that was almost on the other pitch and here he is again for Nilla in and bowls outside the Austin of the back foot cuts well nice shot They've gone for one. We'll come back for the second. The return is coming in to the keeper's yeah, end. Tight. And uh, just managed to get there. I thought they were a little slow on taking off for the second run. But that's why it's important. When they get to mid-pitch, they can say to each other too. 
That's important to be communicating. They got two though. Hitmar has gone to three. Nice skill, skillful touch there as Fornella wants more in and bowls to Hitmar outside the off stump. Very close to a wide. Gonzalez collects behind the stump. So it was left alone by Hitmar. We saw three, 37 for one. The run rate 5.84, which is quite good. Just the one wicket fallen so far. Ghana, Ghana has a platform here to build on. Formula mops his brow, turns around in bright sunshine. The sun has come out and he moves in to bowl to Hetma, who is getting a good delivery. But I thought he handled it very well too. Just onto the back foot and tapped it out on the offside. Played it with soft hands. Got a comfortable single. He's now moved on to four. And Ghana now 38 for one brings uh, Boudoir into strike. Yeah, good rotation of strike there again. And you can see the urgency be running between the wickets again, between the two batsmen. Very good. Yeah, that's good. They're young. They're supposed to be fast, energetic. As uh, four Miller. Nila is in now and bowls outside the Arstam, one that comes into the batsman and he's uh, on the back foot. They will come back for the second run. They've got to hurry. The return comes in and he gets there. Well, two runs there. I think Trinidad and Bego might be a little bit uh, annoyed that, that uh, two runs were picked up there. But the batsman saw the opportunity for the second run and Boudoir said, hey, let's go. He's gone all twos now. He's on 22.40 for one. The run rate exactly now, six runs per over. As it's going to be four nila again moving in to bowl to Boudoir, who's 22, is batted well in and bowls and is outside the off stump. Wide signal by the open power. That was really wide. Gonzalez collected behind the stumps. Umpire's outstretched hand confirmed that it was just too wide. It was not a difficult decision to make at all. 41 for one. I think that's the second winning the over. Yeah. Well, extras have gone to two. As uh, Boudoir facing up to Fornilla, who is looking to drive. Doesn't make contact. Collected behind the stumps. 41 for one. We're in over number seven here good platform to build on Guyana can they make the best out of this good start they've got as here once more is Fournier in and bowls to Boudoir who is pulling that outside the arse of airborne the ball goes down to forward square they've gone for one and will come back for the second as the return comes to the keepers end they get two that stayed in the air for a long time but was within the uh, space of safety and they get two so Boudoir has gone to 24 the over comes to an end seven overs gone it's 43 for one Guyana and they've got a good start here to build a healthy total a very very good start by the Guyana team uh, Boudoir a very very busy player at the crease you know always looking to score always looking to run always looking to rotate the straight which is good. Yeah, he's batted well. Good opportunity for Adrian Hetmar to play a good supportive role. 6.14 is the partnership. Yes, here Dean will move in to bowl to Hetmar, who is coming forward and just spats the ball out on the offside and gets a comfortable single. One more to his total. One to five. That was played well with soft hand. Could, yeah, I couldn't really call a mark of, of the inning so far. Dean bowls to Boudoir who comes forward. Wide signal by the umpire. One more to extras. Which is now gone on to three. And the total has moved on to 45 for one. Ghana. Boudoir 24. Facing up to Yashir Dean. And uh, he is pulling that down to backward square gets a single as the return comes in sharp one but couldn't prevent the batsman from crossing for the single so one more to Boudoir 
going to 25. Hetma now faces up to Dean. And uh, he comes forward, pushes it up on the offside. And you could see the, uh, the, the effort. They want to run between the wickets, want to take the singles. Very good. Yeah, the intent is definitely there. Dean to Hetma. Hetma is opening the face of the bat and uh, op just plays the ball, pats it out on the offside to short his extra cover. Maybe a little bit upset with himself. Maybe wanted hit to hit that a little square. Uh, 46 for one. Yashir Dean again is in and bowls to Hetma. Hetma is in defense, turns it up on the onside. They go through a very quick single. They've got to hurry. The return comes in and overthrows. That's going to go very close to the boundary. I think it's going to be cut off just inside. They will come back for what would be their third run. And uh, two overthrows. And they will get another one. Now, this is crappy indeed. So I think they'll end up with four. Let's see what they're going to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> they're still bubbling it up. <laughs> now, this is real terrible cricket here by the Trinidad and Vigo team. Not good. So what should have yielded one turned out to be four. Yes, as I said before, they have to sharpen in the field. Uh, again, that feel that sharp maybe kept having a chance of running out. This time he, he used the overarm throw. <laughs> and, and the ball and he got given over choice to the game the team. Comedy of comedy of errors, they call it. The fifty posted for Ghana, fifty for one. Yashir Dean moves into ball to hit Ma. Who is reaching forward? Plays the ball up on the offside. Oh, and, uh, oh, a little chance here for a run out. Almost a double play there. Well done by Yashir Dio. Collected the ball and still had the alertness of mind to hurl the return to the keeper's end. He's upset and's got reason to be upset too. He turns out with uh, one for 14 of two and really should have been maybe one for nine of two. And at the end of the over. Ghana, after eight overs, just gone past the halfway mark. They're 50 for one. I'm really, really impressed with the Ghana batsmen. I'm really looking to run, but they still have to be careful uh, not to run out uh, each other. But good intent, you know, to rotate the strike and keep the score moving on. And that's why we've been advocating how important it is to put pressure on the fieldsmen, put pressure on them. Don't be careless but put pressure on them either they would take the eyes of the ball or maybe overrun it and so far it has worked brilliantly for the Ghana batsmen as they look for sharp singles and Trinidad and Tobago they've made some blunders in the field rather commodial uh, er errors to what I must say 50 for 1 Boudoir who has been the stronghold and the foundation builder of the innings so far is 25, Hitma is 9, so Boudoir taking strike. If you notice, he's 25 off 19 balls. Yeah. Only hit 3 4, so it just goes to show you. Brendan Boudou to Boudoir, who looks to push it out on the offside, doesn't uh, have any aggressive intention with that delivery, so. They've been waiting for loose deliveries, but even the good ones, they've been creating the angles. A delivery that he opens the face of the bat with, like that, Boudoir, and gets a, a single as he steers it behind Square on the offside. So he's now gone on to 26, brings Hetma into strike. He's on 9, 51 for 1, over number 9 in progress. There is a delivery faster, and... Uh, onto the back foot. They already scored. They saw sorry, the opportunity for the single and took it. On another day, they wouldn't take that single, but they're taking that now. Yeah. Really good cricket. Very, very good cricket. Here it's Boudou moving in to bowl to Boudoir, who is looking to sweep. There's a appeal for like before. Might have just clipped the pad on the way through to Gonzalo, but he's not supported. That's Boudou with the, the appeal goes back rather pensive he's in now and bowls to Boudoir Boudoir is getting a, a good delivery that turns away from him pushes it out to a squarish cover well bowled the Boudou total remains on 52 for 1 here's Boudou once more to bowl to Boudoir 
who is sweeping the risen appeal for like before giving him out gone well it was belated the umpire waited and maybe waited to to allow the batsman to see that he's gonna put his uh index finger up so there goes uh Budwa, leg before to Budu for 26 and Ghana they've lost the second wicket it's 52 for two 52 for two trying to, to sweep across the line Hmm. So the umpire waited, waited, and said, Hey, I think I'm going to give you. Gave him out. So, two wickets have gone down for Guyana. The 52 for two. Hetma is still there, though. And the new batsman is Dave Mohabir. He's going to join Hetma. So we're about to start over number 10. Well, good innings there by uh, Budu. Uh, good enterprise innings. You know, busy little player. You know, joy to watch. Yes, certainly is. Dean. I'm going to move into bowl to Hitma. It's not quite ready. He is now, though. There's Dean. Bowls to Hitma, who is coming forward pushes the ball back along the track for the bowler Dean to pick up on a smaller through his ball well in the tournament Dean again from the far end 52 for 3 in bowls to Hetma Hetma turns it up to mid wicket will get a comfortable single he's gone by 1 now to 11 brings Dave Mobier into strike get to score left-handed batsman field changing over to accommodate him looks around the field and has a mental picture of course as to where everyone is here is Dean wrong the wicket now to bowl to Mahbir who is lifting that down to mid wicket the catch is taken dropped oh they come back for the second run that went practically right down his throat didn't have to do much movement and he spilled it oh hope this would not be a really rueful miss Mabia got off the mark outside the off stump looking to drive doesn't make contact poor Dean he has not been the most luck the luckiest of bowlers today at all everything has gone against him Dean is in bowls Slip, slipping down the leg side looking to sweep we'd see what the umpire signals in fact does get a wide I think it, the ball was not collected cleanly by Gonzales maybe hit the right glove and ricocheted out to a backward point and the rival uh, sorry the batsman took the opportunity to take a single 57 for two brings it Ma who's on 11 into strike Dean in bowls to Hitma Hitma gets one that is on the leg side let it go by good take I must de say there by Gonzalo total has gone by one extras six now 58 for two Hitma 11 Dean bowls Hitma is leaving that alone outside the arstum another wide confirms it just seemed to be falling away here Dean so still um, trying to get grips with his line here. Here's a delivery that is outside the Ashton. They've got a bit of a muddle and charges at the non-strikers and they will come back for the second run. The return comes into the non-striker and uh, they get two. Well, Trinidad and Tobago, they've not done their best in the field. They've been a bit scrappy. And uh, going on the 15, they have capitalized on that. Dean in now and bowls uh, outside the Ashton steered down to third man gets a comfortable single there is Hetma who's now gone on to 14 so the over has uh, come to an end uh, that's 10 overs gone 5 remaining 62 for 2 and they must be thinking about getting maybe a score about 95 there thereabout very very gettable 
Um, just see all the over there by uh, Yasadin. Let's see some frustration coming into play. Uh, rare, it was overthrows, drop catch, you know, and uh, they bought the ball a couple of ways in, in the over. So, as I said, the, the Trinidad team need to sharpen it a little bit in the, in the outfield. Boudou bolts to hit Ma, who is uh, wrapped on the pad, sinking down the leg side. So, they need to score at about maybe about five point uh, eight there about to get them up to around that 95 total. Here is a delivery that brings him forward. Oh, he stumped him, has he? Yes, gone. That was a lovely delivery, tantalizing delivery outside the R stump. And there was Hetma uh, just coming down the track rather apprehensively, missed everything. And Gonzalez whipped the bales off in a flash. And so he goes. Hetma stumped by Gonzalez of the bowling of Budu for 14. And that was a lovely piece of bowling. Flighted it, tantalized him, came down the track, missed everything. And the rest was done by Gonzalez behind the stumps. It's now 62 for 3. Perfect leg break there. Uh, my Badu. Excellent. Well flighted. Bounce and turn. And the keeper that, uh, did the rest. Yeah. Ooh, that was good work. Good work. Really good work. Enjoy. The, I, I do enjoy those dismissals, you see. So, m Mentor is now coming. Jonathan Mentor. Nicely flighted delivery. That was nice. Really nice, Budu. Mm. He's picked up two. So, it's going to be Budu getting ready to pull to Mentor. The cloud cover has become uh, much more pronounced. It's much darker now than it was a little earlier on. As Budu will get ready to bowl to Mentor. Jonathan Mentor. Here he is. Moving in and bowls. Flat deliveries. Off the front foot. Pushes out on the offside and gets his first run. Jonathan Mentor. It's off the mark. He's gone to one. Jonathan, of course, a biblical name. Must have heard of Jonathan before, surely. Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah. I'd be surprised if you didn't. <laughs> Great friend of the King David, he was killed in battle. And David got onto the throne, succeeding Saul. Here's Budu in now, and Bolsto Morbier who turns it back along the track for the bowler to pick up on his follow through, and there is no run. Still 63 for three. See the quicker delivery there. Yes, it was. Budu to Mahabir, who is coming forward a little. Up tentatively but that was nicely flighted well pitched he's certainly pitching well here yeah good control yeah lovely but do to mobier who is coming down drives the ball up to long on will get a comfortable single so he is uh, gone by one to see i'm just off the mark and the total has gone to 64 for 3. So, with uh, Mentor 1, Mohabir 3, 64, 64 for 3. And uh, Brendan Budu has got good reading. Two of us, no means, picked up two for 4. Good bowling. Um, Guyana 64 for 3. Four hours remaining. Well, it is a good score. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, I th I th they would still need to p keep the eyes on 90. Yeah, 90. Yeah. So. Is there a change of bowling from the far end? So, here's a delivery down the leg side. That is swung down to, down to long leg. That's going to go all the way for four. Well, that was standing down the leg side. Not a good delivery at all. Really wasn't. And he got inside the line and just swung it along with the tide down to the boundary for four. And so uh, Mohabir has now gone on to seven. And the total has gone to 68 for three. 
Gobin was guilty of bowling down the leg side. So he's Gainish comes forward and pushes the ball down to long on, gets a single. So Gobin. Bowler first really bad delivery redeemed himself slightly with a second one mentor who's taking strike he's on one 69 for three the run rate has gone back up now to nine so sorry to six six point zero nine mentor who is one comes in to strike Gobin from the far end would begin to move in now to bowl to mentor he's there and bowls he is coming forward is mentor and pushes it out on the offside made a couple exploratory steps as if wanting a single total remains on 69 because it was a dead dot ball here he is wrong the wicket bowls and uh, we're looking to squeeze that on the onside Gonzalez very alert from behind the stumps quickly picks up sends it back to the bowler and Torres won 69 for three. Here is Gobin once more in and bowls. He's coming forward and uh, drives the ball out to extra cover. Gets a single. As uh, four nil up. Dive into his right. Made a good stop. And uh, the batsman did, however, got get a single. Now, field just change over for Mohbir. As Gobin is in and bowls down the leg side, swept down to backward square for four. Now that was a bad delivery, and that was in fact the second bad delivery that he bowled in the innings. And that was swept nicely down to backward square. Lovely shot that was. Four runs. So at the end of 12 overs, Ghana 74 for three, 74 for three. Mohamir is on 12 and Mentor two. Yeah, this think that they trained that team probably is guilty not to have a deep bat with square for the left hand left hand bowler bone to left hand batsman and um we got two boundaries in the over the same shot sweet shot yes I think uh, that was not good field placing but do in bowls and uh, that's gonna go down to the boundary i suspect it's gonna be called uh, buys confirmed by the umpire four buys so it kept a bit low maybe maybe to be fair to the keeper but when you miss them with the gloves your body should be be right behind it so that it would cannon into the pad 78 for three extras 11 Budu in now bowls the mentor who comes forward and drives the ball up to uh, up to long on they will come back for the second the return comes into the non strikers end. good running really good aggressive running they get two right now been very very good so far in the innings this is probably the best that I've seen in terms of taking the singles turning ones into two Jonathan Men mentor has gone to four he is coming forward looking to drive that the ball uh, maybe taking the inner portion of the bat into the pad and then going out on the offside. Gonzalez peels off the right glove very quickly. Sends the ball back to Budu. Into his third. Bowls shorter onto the back foot. Plays it back along the turf for the bowler to pick up on his follow through. And there is no runs. A busy little cricketer that there. A Brendan Budu who is getting ready again to bowl to Mentor. He's there. And bowl to Mentor who is hitting that over the mid-wicket area. And uh, they've gone for one, and they will in fact get a second run as the return comes into the non strikers' end. So, two more runs there. As uh, it was Charles coming off the deep mid wicket boundary, couldn't prevent the batsman from getting two. Mentor has gone to 682 for three. Another delivery that uh, brings the batsman forward, gets it out, just pokes it out to short extra cover. So, that completes the over. And uh, good over there for Ghana on the 15. It's 82 for 3. 82 for 3. Mentor is on 6. Buru will be taking strike on 12. And uh, there are two of us to go. We did say that if they get up to a score of 90, that should be a good working total. I think, they, I think they'll get beyond that. Me too. I think, I think so. so. Um, good momentum into the innings. 
for stuff. And, and the key here is, I guess, is running between the wickets. Really aggressive running between the wickets, but again, he's batsman. Yeah, they've done that very well, really well. Maybe a pattern that was set rather too late in the competition, but oh. something obviously they'll learn and maybe come next year or even in their whole cricketing experience, something that they will add to their repertoire. 82 for 3. Marbier will be facing up to Charles. Here is Charles in now and bowls outside the off stump. Spanked down to the sweeper position. Runs here. The con for one. Come back for the second. Good return to Gonzalez. But they get two. Marbier has gone to 14. 84 for 3. The run rate 6.38. That sweeper position is so very important, especially for the left-hander. Charles, from the far end, moves in. Gentle medium pace, he's there now, and bowls, and looking to swing that up on the onside and succeed to get it, getting it just behind square. Uh, gets a single. One more to the total. It's gone to 85 for three. Now brings Mentor into strike. He's on six. Extras, 11. Four buys. Seven wide. That comprise a total of 11 extras. As it's Charles moving in once more to bowl to Mentor, who is... He doesn't bowl. He's got to go back. It, it will be interesting to see how many boundaries we struck so far in this innings. So we can, uh, how many boundaries we've got in the innings? We've got uh, some seven boundaries mm -hmm. in the innings. Here is a delivery that is, uh, is looking to play off the back foot. One kept low, well bowled by Charles. Into his third, none for eight, 85 for three. We're into over number 14, so nine deliveries remaining in this innings. Here is Charles moving in again to bowl to Mentor, and he is coming forward, driving out a short extra cover, and uh, will get an overthrow. Are they going to come back for another one? Mm -hmm. No, they won't. Better they don't. Wisely, too. And they. <laughs> Oh, he wanted another one. Oh, oh well, it's been a miserable feeling display here by Trinidad and Tobago. Under pressure, that's what happens. And youngsters are not always easy, to easy, not always able to stay calm when the pressure is on. 87 for 3. Mentor is 8. Marbier 15. Charles, none for 10. Into his third from the far end and bowls now to Mentor who is getting one down the leg side confirmed as a wide good work there by Gonzales having the alertness of mind to throw uh, and in fact did hit connect to the stump but the batsman in Mentor was there safely in his crease no harm done total remains on 88 for 3 this is a good batting effort here by Guyana I think they'll be happy with this, especially if they get up to about maybe 95. As Charles again to bowl to Mentor, who is hitting that out to extra cover. And they will go through for the single. They've got to hurry. And if that had hit the stumps, I suspect that he would have been out. But no harm done. The ball off target. And so the over has... No, there's just one more ball to go. 89 for 3. This is the final delivery coming up of uh, Charles's third over. None for 12. Mohabir settles. Charles is in and bowls. And he is coming forward and driving the ball back along the turf for the bowler to pick up on his follow through. So that's a dot ball. One more over to go. 14 overs gone. 89 for 3. Mohabir is 15 and Mentor 9. Yeah, good spell there by Charles. You know. Two overs just for 12 runs. And some of who shows in that 12. So yeah, he has bowled particularly well today. Uh, Guyana, on the other hand, uh, in a good position. 
183, one last over. So a good score so far. Yes, good score. I think they'll be they'll be happy with this. Mm -hmm. They can use this next deli delivery, this next over rather, to go hard. They've got to go hard. Redhead, however, is called back into the attack. Two overs for 15, so his first two rather expensive. But I think his captain is very comfortable with his bowling. He's in and bowls. Uh, outside the Austin, pushed down to cover. They will come back for the second run. The return comes in to the non strikers end, backed up there in the outfield. They get two. So Mentor has now gone into double figures, it's gone to 11. 91 for three. As Redhead goes back, just wipes away the perspiration, leans forward now in both the Mentor, and he is coming forward. Driving the ball up to the mid wicket area and the catch is taken. Well, uh, he decided that this one would not be dropped. Came in <laughs> and hmm. took the catch and uh, took it rather well, rather comfortably. And so Mento goes cut down at the deep mid wicket boundary. And uh, so he has played his innings well. He's played, he's gotten 11. So. They've lost another wicket. That's Ghana under 15. Four of wickets down for 91. But the intent here was good by Mentor. And that was seeking to go over the top. Maharaj came in there and took what turned out to be a, a simple catch. So first wicket there for Redhead. Uh, one for 17 of 2.2. And Ghana under 15. They're 94, 91 for four. Yeah, very comfortable catch there with the fielder. And um Trey not need more of that. More composure in the field. But I love the way that he took it. Didn't panic at all, waited to for in for it to come. Poached it. Yes. Marbia facing. Delivery that is turned in the air down to the mid wicket area. They will come back for the second run and as the return comes in and they get to Fell in no man's land. So two to Mahbeer who's got to 17. Shane Prince, the new batsman. Don't know if he's going to get a chance to face one. Here, what's more, his redhead bowls. And Mahbeer is looking to swing across the line. There's an appeal for like before. They take what would be a single. Now confirmed by the umpire on one leg. That was a leg by. So, total has moved by one to 94. Extras have gone to 13. Prince gets an opportunity to face. Two legal deliveries to go. Redhead to Prince. And Prince is making room. Hits that in the air. Somebody's going to go under it. The ball drops just in front. They will come back for the second run as they get two. That stayed in the air. Yashir Dean was coming off from the long on boundary. Couldn't turn it into a catch. And so Prince got two. Total has gone to 96 now for four. This is a final delivery coming up to Prince. Will he hit take the long handle? Here is uh, Dominic Redhead. And uh, Prince wasn't quite ready. Just pulled out of his batting stance. This is a good total here by Ghana on the 15, 96 for four. Here's the final delivery of the of the innings. Bowled by Redhead in now and bowls to Prince. Prince is hitting that in the air. Midwicket is going back. Will the catch be taken? Yes. Good catch. And so Prince goes. Cut there at midwicket. He is gone for two. And the final delivery of the innings has in fact yielded a wicket but i'm sure that ghana under 15 would be very happy with their final total in 96 96 for five and it's a good really good work in total they've got to score at about 6.40 that's trinidad and tobago to eclipse that so prince goes caught uh uh ball to sing 
of the bowling of Redhead for 12. So he's picked up two wickets in his final over, which yielded, well, his bowling analysis being three overs, no man, two for 21. And uh, with 96 for five, I think it's a pretty decent total to work with. Yeah, very good, good total. Uh, solid total there, but again, he's batsman. Uh, 96 for five. Very, very good effort. Uh, top performance there in the batting. Also, just let me quickly go through the scorecard for you. Kabir bowled by Dean for 13. Boudoua was bowled by Boudou for 26. Leg before, rather, for 26. 20, 24 balls. Um, batted pretty well. Hetma was stumped. Gonzalez was bowling of Boudou for 14. Uh, Dave Morbier, not hold 17. 13 balls. Batted well. Mentor was uh, caught mirage of the bowling of Redhead for 11. Prince was the last to go was caught Batu Singh of the bowling of Reddit for two. Uh, La Rose, not out, no score. Uh, the bowling analysis, Redhead, two for 21 of three. Charles, none for 12 of three. Four Nilla, uh, none for 16 of two. Dean had one for 24 of three. Very unlucky bowler, he was there. Uh, Badu bowl three overs, no maidens. Picked up two for eight, well bowled. And Gobin had just a one over for 10 runs. So. A 96 for 5, 96 for Ghana, for 5 Ghana, it means that Trinidad and Tobago would need 97 for victory. Can they get it? Well, we'll just have to wait. The change of innings, what needs to be done? The roll of course on the square on the pitch, just uh, rolling for the change of innings. So we're going to uh, allow you to refresh yourself as the case may be, whatever you want to do. And when Trinidad and Tobago will get ready to chase down 97 for victory, We'll be on to bring you the broadcast.
So we're back here, ready to bring you the reply of the Trinidad and Tobago under 15. And uh, Brendan Boudou and Batu Singh opening. And here is Ar Arif Khan. Bowls down the leg side. Good diving take by the keeper down the leg side. Wide confirmed by the umpire. So we had to do something like a Passover eating here at the commentary <laughs> board. <laughs> Those of you, of course, who know the biblical story of the Israel eating the Passover as quickly as possible, getting ready uh, to leave Egypt. So you can go to your Bible and get the whole story. Here's a delivery that is outside the leg stump that he gets onto the back foot and pulls nicely. That's a fine shot. Really lovely shot for four. Good shot there by Budu. Khan was dropping short onto the back foot he went and lifted it handsomely in fact in front of square just in front of square which means that he cued it very well and he got four well played a good positive stroke to start off the train down the Tobago innings but it was a nice pull over the, the forward square position uh, so surely there both of us weird unfortunate victim of time <laughs> There are others in the commentary booth who can continue <laughs> their eatability <laughs> while we have to <laughs> <laughs> curtail ours. <laughs> there is Khan in our booth to <laughs> Puru who, well, the, who the brilliant uh, brilliantly uh, caught. That's a brilliant catch at backward, backward square on the left side. Oh, he got inside the line. I think he's looking as if to say, dare me, dare me, how did you take that catch? It was really lovely. Looking to swing that to backward square. Well, he succeeded in doing that. But it was brilliantly picked up there by uh, Kabir, who took a fine catch. And when he took it, he threw it up in the air in jubilation. And with disbelief, Budu walks back as if to say, well, you know what? I would not go back there uh, slowly. I'll go back quickly just to say I've got nothing to be ashamed about. It was a, was a brilliant catch. Yeah, yes, indeed, it was a, a brilliant catch. So the ball was struck nicely by Badu, but the square life fielder was equal to the task and took a brilliant catch. Razam Kubir. Oh, that was lovely. That's what I love. That's what I want to see in cricket. Good These cricket. youngsters playing good all round cricket. I would remember that. Beautiful. Five for one. Trinidad and Tobago, they've already lost a wicket. Well, well, well. I'm sure that Budu would say, gosh, I mean, <laughs> I struck it okay. I think it came off the middle. <laughs> so, Zane Mirage is the new batsman. He has just tying his uh, booth laces. And uh, Arif Khan would be very happy with a great catch there by Kubir. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. So he's, he's ready now. His Mirage. Maybe just seeking to calm his nerves. In come Khan. Bowls to Mirage who is feeling for that outside the Ostrom. Well bowled. Didn't really go forward or backward, just stood there and pushed the bat out. For collecting behind the stumps. Yeah, just a tentative push there with the batsman. First ball, not quite ready. Um, when he came out, had to tie his laces. Mohammed taking the ball behind the stumps. As Khan again to bowl to Maharaj, who is looking to turn that up on the on side. Ball might have just uh, moved off the, the pitch, just a little lateral movement, sort of turned him around a bit, pushed the ball back along the track for the bowler to pick up on his follow throw. Third man, backward point, cover extra cover on a mid off, mid on, mid wicket, backward square. That's uh, Budu took a splendid catch and a long leg right back on the boundary as Khan is in to bowl to Mirage, who leaves that alone outside the off stump. Well bowled, tease and line and length, and was not lured into making a big booming expansive drive. 
let it go into the glove of Sohail Mohammed behind the stumps. Total remains on five for one. Well, we've had some excitement already in the innings that is rather early. Nice shot and also a good crack, good catch. Here is a delivery that is bowling outside the stump. Well bowled. That completes a successful over there by Arif Khan. So five for one. And uh, don't forget the victory target is 97. 96 scored by a guy and 96 for five. And Trinidad and Tobago under 15 in reply. They're five for one. Yeah, can with a, a decent over. Can and uh, again, a good start. Uh, he's getting the ball to shape away from the right hand box. But also with some good pace. So a good over there by um, the guy on the team. So this is going to be from uh, the northern or double end. The new bowler is uh, Shane Prince. It's going to be moving into bowl to the left-handed Darius Batu Singh. Prince to Batu Singh who is cutting down to backward point. Ball traveling much too quickly for the single. So they have to take something from the pages of uh, the Ghanese batting where indeed put pressure onto the fieldsmen. Successful pressure too. Prince again to bowl to Batu Singh. Here he is, passes the umpire now and bowls. And he is off the back foot and cuts. Cuts with a little misfield there at backward point, which allows them to come back for the second run. And uh, both fielders, in fact, uh, misfielding. They get two. Well played by Batu Singh. Just waited. Didn't try to rush the shot. Waited and played it late. Cut it behind square. It's uh, Yashir Dean who made a bit of a meal of it and they got two. Seven for one. Prince once more. It's a tall man. We'll move in to bowl to another tall man is Batu Singh and uh, looking to cut outside the stump. Doesn't make contact and uh, collected behind the stumps. So Mohamed behind the stumps. Well, I think uh, everyone understands how important a keeper is behind the stumps. Not just to take catches, much more than that. There is a delivery that uh, brings the left-handed batsman forward on the drive, on the run. Drives the ball to <coughs> Minan, gets a comfortable single. So Maharaj now comes in to strike, but Batu Singh has gone too. Three, it's now eight for one. Maharaj has fa faced four balls already, yet to score. Just took off the leg bail, made his guard. And Sierra Watts boy is uh, Prince moving into bowl to Maharaj, who is, uh, oh, got one that came in onto him rather sharply. Just managed to poke it out. Uh, Going out on the onside, and uh, there is no one. Surely, what did you do when you took your guard? Did you walk with a chalk in your pocket, or did you take off a bail? And uh, when I oh. first started, I started using my bat. You did. Then I realized I was mashing up my bat. <laughs> there is a delivery that is driving outside the off stump doesn't make contact. Keeper collects behind the stumps, and uh, there is no run. The over comes to an end. Two of us gone, eight without loss. So you use your bat. Then they start using my spikes. Oh, your spikes. Yeah, don't yeah. You? Okay, well, I couldn't say like you because I didn't have anything like spikes to yeah. uh, do any marking. So we did use a bat. And then we were told that you can walk with a chalk mm. in your pocket. Interesting. And so I walked with my chalk and mm. it's time to take my guard, pulled out the chalk and uh, marked it out. And that's so I took my guard. So how many times you had to remark a <laughs> chalk? Because Not very much because I predominantly took a middle stump guard. So, so the chalk remained. I, I thought it was you battered long periods <laughs> at times. <Okay. laughs> uh. 
especially here's a Nova down the leg side wide says the umpire especially if I battled with one called Anthony Dixon mm -hmm. and uh, we made very youthful useful when I battled with him I never felt I could out he mm -hmm. was the one that would bust the leather of the ball hit the ball thunderously hard and I was the caressa always helpful to have a partner <laughs> that yes really <laughs> complimenting each other slow delivery but that's gonna be called a, a, a no ball above the waist and uh, a free hit will be resulted and they also took the opportunity to take a, a, a run free hit confirmed by the umpire total has now gone to 11 so let's see whether they can make use I mean full use of this free hit yeah <coughs> Mirage will get the opportunity to open his arms he's still on zero good opportunity now to come off the mark mm -hmm. let's see Arif Khan will move in from the far end guilty of uh, bowling a no ball above the waist uh, don't forget you can't do any changes uh, to the field yeah no you can uh, take the single oh yes yeah with the single that's right mm -hmm. different match that's right thank you for pointing that out they did cross here is he in he's in now uh, now to bowl this time to Mirage is Khan and he is having a big swing of that one doesn't make contact and uh, the keeper collects behind the stumps how useful how important it is to make use of those free hits very very important uh, it's important for the batsman to keep a shape and play a cricket shot and not just swipe at the ball too um, many of these players uh, they hear about free hit and they they lose their shape you don't want that to happen. Khan is in to bowl to Maharaj, who is getting one outside the Austin, stretching for it. Doesn't make contact. Mohammed collects behind the stumps. So the run rate is 4.71. It's not out of hand, but it seemed to be creeping up. 6.79, the required run rate. 11 for 1 over number 3 in progress in the power play. Here he is now, bowls outside the arse stump. Off the back foot is Mirage. Steers the ball along to third man. Thought about a second run as uh, there was a bit of a misfield there. And the batsman uh, just settled for one. Dean didn't do very well there. It's the second time I think we've seen him misfielding a ball. So not the best day on the field. Total has uh, got to 12, 12 for one. Khan into his second over. One for nine so far. He's going to bowl round the wicket and he's going to move in to bowl to Batu Singh. Here he is, balls down the leg side. Wayward delivery confirmed to be another extra, which has now tallied to four. And Trinidad and Tobago, 13 for one. Slanting down the leg side. He'll be advised to keep the ball maybe on the on the stumps or a little bit outside the off stump. Umpires are generally harsh on those that are slanting down the leg side. Here once more is Khan. In to bowl to Batu Singh who is driving out to extra cover. We'll go too far single as the ball was uh, not fielded well by extra cover knocked down and then ricocheted the deflected behind him they got one so Batu Singh has now gone on to five brings Mirage Zane Mirage into strike he's on one 14 for one as uh, field changes over to accommodate the right-handed Mirage as Khan in now and bowls and Mirage comes forward pushes the ball in front of him on the offside no aggressive intention rather easy push and uh, there is no run total remains on 14 for one good solid start here with both teams I mean training that loss of a kit but they're still keeping at the run rate so it's going on nicely yes should be a good encounter here here is Mirage facing up to 
uh, ball maybe just coming in slightly and uh, looking to play back along the turf didn't make the kind of contact or taking more the inside portion of the bat going out to a short straightish mid wicket that completes the over at the end of it Maraj remains on one Batu Singh will be taking strike he's on four and going after a victory target of 97 Trinidad and Tobago on the 15 they're 14 for one in over number three just bold yeah no not a bad start here but again these bowlers either um i think can is look sharp you know just that 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 no ball that he delivery that uh free hit but prince to batu sing outside the ostrom i thought that was well bowled it wasn't that far outside the thing is that uh uh, Batu Singh just stay there and stretch for it and he has this characteristic way of uh, stretching for the ball rather than placing the right pad down and across getting closer to the pitch of the ball here once more is Prince pulls to Batu Singh who is driving driving well fine shot four runs beautiful shot got to the pitch of that one it was closer to him too and he came down with a nice expansive bat onto that one drove it sweetly willow and leather met they kissed resulted in a wonderful boundary he's pushed on to eight, 18 for one he must have heard you from here in the booth uh nice drive down the ground that's way the middle off yeah that was that was nice really nice but to sing has gone to eight here is prince once more in and bowls and he is uh, opening the face of the bat glides it down the third man gets a comfortable single just waited on it and uh, made a little bit of room outside the leg stump and in a rather dexterous manner opened the face of the bat got it down to third man got one more he's now moved on to nine 19 i think it's even steven here they're going at uh four point sorry 5.43 the required run made is 6.78 so it's not bad it's not out of hand here's a delivery that is pushed up on the onside prince well bold couldn't do much more about that but if they get it up to beyond seven that's when trinidad and tobago will be a bit worried yeah. so far just above six that's okay but they've got to be careful not to let it get higher than this prince moves in to bowl to Mirage he's there now and bowls and he turns it nicely up to mid wicket gets a single Oy. good diving attempt there by uh, the <laughs> by bat to sing I like that I really like that I, I, I think you must always prize your wicket treat your wicket as something that is rather in uh, that is invaluable and you need to dive home and he did that he dove and made sure that he got there. I think he may have been struck by that that um throw, that return throw. Yeah. It seems to be okay. It's a little yeah, bit of concern. Yeah, I think it's okay. Didn't show any major discomfort really. So, but there have been a good sense of camaraderie throughout the course of the competition. You didn't see tempers flaring. And these youngsters seem to have, uh, I would suspect that they've made friends with uh, opponents. Friendship that, who knows, may last for a lifetime. Very important. Very important. And that's why, gosh, I love this game of cricket so much. It's done a lot for me in my life. And whenever there is an opportunity to give back, quite prepared to do that. Allowed me to travel around the region quite a bit, and uh, whether playing and uh, as a, an international commentator, here is a delivery by Prince in and bowls outside the Ostom, opens the face of the bat. This Balu Singh, Batu Singh, steers the ball down to the third man and gets a single. So that no completes the over. There was some little discussion as to whether there was another delivery to be bowled. So that was finally sorted out and yes there was one more to go so the over comes to an end uh four overs gone 21 for one they need to go at 6.91 
the current run rate is 5.25. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago will have to keep rotating the straight and picking up the odd boundary. Um, if they don't do that, they will find themselves way behind. I know scoreboard pressure, you know, it, it, it's troubled. Yeah, that's in, that's really important for them to re rotate. They've got to take a they've got to take a page, so to speak, out of uh, Ghana's batting book. Here is La Rose who is going to move in from the far end. He's going to start his bowling outside the Austin. Mm, not a wide, says the umpire. It was wide, but not wide enough. Tight. Yeah, it was tight. Really tight on that blue line there. Well, if you could get to do that all the time, it would probably go to his favor, especially if he's bowling to Batu Singh. Batu Singh taps away at the crease. Here now is La Rose in bows outside the Austin. Tight again. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think uh, La Rose has read this well. He's noticed that Balu Singh is not coming across. He is staying there and hoping that it's right in the slot to drive. So quite wisely, uh, La Rose is spraying it outside the Austin. He's been successful with two deliveries so far. In now, bowls to Batu Singh, who gets one closer, and this time he steers it down to backward point and gets a comfortable single in the end as uh, Kabir runs across to his right, covered about 15 yards, and they got one. So Batu Singh has now gone on to 11. And the total has pushed on to all the twos, 22 for one. Brings Maharaj, who is one, into strike. So, is 11 runs of 13 balls. Back to Singh. Right-handed Maharaj, who is two. Faces up to La Rose, who comes from over the wicket. Moves in now. And balls outside the off stump. Hit the ball down to mid-off, but can't score. He remains on two. Total remains on 22. The run rate has now gone up to 7.22. They don't, they won't like that. As Darwin LaRose would move in. He's kept it tight so far. In now. And bowls to Mirage. Mirage is off the back foot. Stares the ball down behind square on the offside. And we'll get a comfortable single so Maraj has now gone on to three brings back uh, Batu Singh into strike who's on 11 so the partnership has now worth 18 the run rate 4.76 they need 74 to win 74 of 10.1 overs here is a delivery that Batu, Fing, Batu Singh looking to drive well bowl right up and just a little bit outside the off stump didn't make contact. So good over there. Just completed by La Rose. Just the two runs coming off the over. And Trinidad and Tobago on the 15. They're 23 for one. Five overs gone. Yeah, Trinidad will have to up the tempo. Um, they're falling away behind the required run rate here at the moment. Uh, the required run rate is 7.4. And the current run rate is 4.6. So do I have to, to up the tempo here against the Ghana team? Yes, no question about that. And uh, they better do it quickly. Time is of the essence. So, Mirage taking strike. Power play coming to an end. Here is Prince in Bows to Mirage, who is turning that up to middle hit. Ball traveling much too quickly for a single. But you can see him has this characteristic way that he bubbles. Uh, bends the knee, and that's uh, Mirage while the bowler is coming in. And he is bobbing up and down. Here once more is Prince in bowls. Driven up to mid on there. Oh, fine shot for four. 
beautiful shot. For a moment, I think the, the, the feeler felt that he could run across and stop that ball. Well, you know what? It probably was traveling much quicker than, uh, than he thought. And uh, that ball went very quickly to the boundary, gained a run across quickly, wasn't able to gain any advantage on that on drive for four. That thing shot. That was nice. Prince, again, to bowl to Mirage, who comes forward, clips it nicely. Just in front of Square gets a single. So five ne needed runs of the last two deliveries that were bold. Mirage has gone now to eight. Total has gone to 28 for one. Brings uh, Batu Singh, who is 11, into strike. As Prince, none for 15 of 2.3. So comparatively speaking, he's expensive. In now, bowls to Batu Singh, who is off the back foot, looking to push that out onto the offside. Dot ball, total remains on 28 for one. And surely we've got good weather today, didn't we? Yeah, it started out uh, a bit rainy this morning, but the um, sun came out and yeah, we be having some decent weather today. Yes, very much. Prince to Batu Singh who is looking to turn that up on the onside. Well, I think the, <laughs> the, the back leg, the back leg. Now, interestingly, because the, the back leg, um, the ball hit the back leg and it, sh it would have gone for the while for wide. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the, oh, the I think the umpires just send them back. So dead ball. Yeah. It was a dead ball. We're going to keep it. Yeah. yeah. 29 for one. As Prince moves in now to bowl to Batu Singh. And Batu Singh is coming forward. And just drives the ball neatly out to cover. Gets a single. Cover feel a shine at the non-striker's end. I don't think that there was any real reason to do that. Could have. Uh, if there, was, there were overthrows, it would have been rather embarrassing. So six overs gone, 29 for one, 29 for one, Mirage is eight, and Batu Singh 12, and the run rate is 4.83. They need to score at uh, 7.56 to get to the victory target. Yeah, Guyana bowler is doing very, very well at the moment, keeping things tight, keeping the train down into big old box in check. Uh, Mirage in particular, um, before that, that ball he struck in last over, was struggling a bit. Let's see if he can open it a bit more. So, Batu Singh will be taking strike. And uh, La Rose is going to continue from the far end. He's going to move in to bowl to Batu Singh. Who a lot depends on to bring... Trinidad and Tobago as close as possible to the total delivery that is a full toss and driven out to out to short extra cover should have made better use of that you don't always get them as juicy as those when they're that juicy please make use 29 for one Batu Singh faces once more La Rose and he is hitting that hard into the ground. Maybe trying to hit it too hard. Ball taking the under edge in a portion of the bat. Going out on the offside. Short extra cover. Picking up the ball. Might have been advised to steer the ball. Maybe down to backward point and would have gotten a single. There is La Rose again. In and balls to Batu Singh who is looking to drive. Just to make good contact the ball goes out on the onside yeah, the ball had to pick up on his follow through so that run rate has now climbed to 8 that's when it becomes even more dangerous yeah Lara is doing a, a, a really good job here for the uh, guy on the team stifling the batsman from Trinidad to Tobago yes putting the proverbial pillows over the head here is once more La Rose moving into bowl to Batu Singh. 
Well, La Rose will, has just aborted his, around, his run up because he wasn't comfortable about it. We'll go all the way back. Dead ball signal by the umpire. Turns once more. And that begins to move in now to bowl to Batu Singh. He's there now and bowls. And he drives that up to mid off. And uh, there is no run. Shirley, how has the coaching been going with the Volcano guys? How have they been doing? Um, yeah, I've had some challenges here in the, with the facilities, the rain, carnival. I know they're on the 15 cricket, but uh, the guys have been working very hard on the fitness. Delivery to Batu Singh, big heave, and uh, there is no run. So, Katoy, in fact, working out yesterday was in the nets and uh, batting looked, looked well, didn't look jaded at all. And uh, it's been a good idea to have these players uh, as much as possible assembled to work out together. Here is a delivery that brings a left handed uh, bat to sing forward, drives the ball up to long off. Why this long off? They will get two as the return. Go oh, they didn't get two? <laughs> well, that's, that's highly surprising. That was hit to the right of the fielder that had to cover about 20 yards. Can't understand why they didn't go for two. Well, maybe their deliberate judgment suggested that they knew better than we do. So the over comes to an end. Seven overs gone, 30 for one. And uh, the run rate is 4.29. They need to score at 8.38. BV trained out to be a team. Are going to they're going to struggle here to get this total. Um, again, these boarders board them very well. They're very disciplined. Uh, they're moving around the field very well too. So it's going to be very, very difficult uh, for Trinidad to be able to get this total. Yes, especially as they, uh, especially as they need to score at eight, almost eight and a half per over. So Gainda is now called into the attack and he's going to be bowling to Batu Singh. Here he is, bowls. Batu Singh is hitting that down to long off. We'll get a single as uh, Prince, I make it, comes off the boundary, collects the ball. Total has moved on by one to 31. 31 for one. And that's the thing, they've lost only one wicket. Mm -hmm. So these youngsters got to know when you've got wickets intact, that's important. You don't want to end up with 70 or 60 for one. Please, go after the bowling. You, you've, got, you've got nothing to lose per se. Here's a delivery that is pushed back along the track for a gain that to pick up on this follow through. And there is no run. You've got to decide to put the fielders under pressure. And the bowler too. Wrapped on the pad, there was an appeal for leg before, not given out. That might have been just slanting down the leg side. There was no great conviction in the appeal. So, Mirage remains on 8. Batu Singh 14. And they've been around. They've got to push this along. Gainda in. Bowls to Mirage, who is looking to turn it out on the onside. Uh, there's an appeal for leg before, out. Well, he started to run down the track and then the umpire said, hey, that's how the appeal went up. And so Maharaj goes leg before to gain that for nine, for eight, beg your pardon. And uh, Trinidad and Tobago, they've lost another wicket. They're now 31 for two. Yeah, that boy there, but gain the uh, boys have really took the reads up front. That one up close, probably going to hit leg stamp. Um... But again, the Ghanaians put a lot of pressure on the Trinidad to be a good batsman. Yes. So, well, well, well. Ghana. They've done a good job, though. They, they did a good batting job, and then the, the bowling uh, has been also good. Malik Lewis mm -hmm. comes in. Somebody's got to be a hero for Kayana. Do they have any heroes there? Hero for Trinidad. 
Trinidad. Oh, for Trinidad, yeah, thank Trinidad, you, Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad needs a hero. <laughs> Sorry. Trinidad just, needs a hero right now. Yeah, somebody needs to be a hero for Trinidad. Of course, yes. Trinidad and Tobago, they've got so many heroes there. Cultural heroes and uh, political heroes. And you just did a book on uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, well, it's not published as yet, but uh, within the next 45 days, it should be ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Trinidad and Tobago Dong Memory Lane. Mm -hmm. Here is Gaina in Bowls. There's a peel for like before. Mm. As uh, Malik Lewis was coming forward. Yeah, I've been working on this book for the last six years. A lot of time, a lot of research. I know, really. <laughs> Here once more is Gaina in and Bowls. And uh, that one, well, where was he going? Just squeezed hmm. it behind him, and um, I don't think that uh, I don't think that Balu Singh called him through. Didn't so the over comes to an end. The run rate has gone on the four now, and has uh, skipped up to almost ten. Thirty-one for two. Lewis is yet to score, and Balu Singh fourteen. Yeah, again it was a, it was a magnificent over there. There's one rank coming from the over and picking up a wicket. So we have both of him. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago. It's a country that I love very much. It's a favorite Caribbean country outside of Barbados. Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, we were missing you not to say Grenada now. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd say Grenada, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I love all the, all, all the Caribbean countries, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love all of them. My favorite after Grenada is Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, then I would say St. Lucia. Here is Mobier in bowls. Ba uh, Batu Singh plays a nice shot, just pulls away, opens the face of the bat and glides it down to third man. Got a single. So he's moved by one to 15. And the total has gone to 32 for two. But all of Caribbean countries got their own uniqueness uh, about them. Trinidad and Tobago for its varied ethnicity, ethnicities. And of course, uh, so many other things. Here is a delivery that is pushed up to extra cover. Gets a single. Guyana. Uh, country with lots of variation. Big country. Biggest of the Caribbean territories. So much to see. Rich in natural resources. Here is a delivery that Batu Singh is looking to cut. Ball too close to him. And uh, goes over the stumps. Gonzales. Sorry, uh, just just running to collect the ball. So here once more, that's Mohammed. Sorry, delivery that goes through the leg of the keeper, and they will get a single. Umpire will signal by. Extras have now gone on to six, and the total has gone to thirty-three for two. And Bogana, you you've been there a few times, I would think. Yeah, definitely. Nice place. I haven't been there in a long time though. Uh -huh. Delivery that is driven up to uh, more coming off the outer portion goes down to third man and they get a single. I haven't been to Ghana in about hmm, I would think maybe about 12 years. It's a long time. But it is a lovely country. I've been there a couple of times. There's a country I can tell you in the region that I have not visited and that's uh, Montserrat, I haven't gone to Montserrat and Nevis. Mm. I reckon you've gone to all, have you? Uh, not Montserrat, but Nevis for sure. Yeah. yeah. I've so missed out on Nevis. Yeah. Mahabir moves in and the balls to Batu Singh, who is driving behind point, and they will get two because a misfield there at uh, backward point, and uh, one run. Sorry, two runs. So. Batu Singh has now gone to, to 17 and the total has gone to 37 uh, for 2. So, good afternoon to listeners wherever you are in these wonderful Caribbean territories, whether you're in Anguilla and uh, or Jamaica, um, Barbados. I do have an aunt that lives in Barbados. In fact, the first country I ever visited 
uh, was Barbados, compliments and aunt who lived in Oystins. How was it? Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lovely, I must admit. <laughs> here is uh, one of your inn and bowls. And uh, that boat will go down to fine leg. A uh, big heave didn't make contact. The umpire would signal that that was a buy. Extras have now gone on there for to six. And the total has moved on to uh, 34. 34 for two. Yes, uh, that uh, fishing area there in uh, Oystins. Here's a delivery that is hit down to Long On. We'll get a single. They will come back for the second run. And uh, they get it. So two more to Lewis, who's now gone on to gone on to six, I make it. And the total... Okay, I think we just had a little bit of a muddle with the score, so we'll so come back to sh that shortly. Right, it's 40. 40 for two, we make it. The score is just... Uh, Making sure that they tally everything correct. Here is Gain in now and balls to uh, Batu Singh, who is looking to heave that over mid wicket. There's a throw to the non strikers end, and Balu Singh is gone, run out. Oh, he's gone. Well, he did move off rather late. He's limping off now, as if seemed to have had a little bit of an injury. So Balu Singh goes, run out there for 15. And uh, Trinidad and Tobago, they've lost another uh, another wicket. They're now 40 for three. Yeah. Um, ball struck by the singer on his knee, uh, causing some discomfort. He's not, he was not ready to, to take that, that single, and he was running away, you know, striker thing. So, Trinidad and Tobago losing their way here. As for Nile has come out, and uh, they would have quite a task. A very big task. Yeah, the run yeah. rate has gone up to around 10. Yeah, about a single the bat eight uh, for a long period of time, faced 26 deliveries, um, scoring 15 runs, about for four or two minutes. So he really struggled out there today. Yeah, really did. So here is a delivery that uh, will take the under edge and will go down to the third man area. And uh, they will just get a single. So by signal by the umpire for Nila. Is uh, now coming to strike. So he's yet to score. 41 for three. As here once more is gained the in balls off the back foot, pushes the ball down to long on. We'll get a comfortable single as the fielder comes off the boundary. So the total has moved by one to 42 for three. And uh, Trinidad and Tobago, they're really facing an uphill task. Here is a delivery that uh, is, uh, well, he's looking to hit that. Ball takes on the edge of the bat and goes out on the onside as the over comes to an end. So at the end of the over, I think it's 43. Just uh, confirmably uh, scores. Yeah, we just have a bit of a problem uh, technically here, and that'll be sorted out. No worries. But another go over there, boy. Uh, but again, this bowler uh, not a tight over. Yes, they've done. Uh, they really have done very well, indeed. Ghana seeking to put the screws on. Shackles are on. Yeah, yeah, the shackles are on. Really are. So, 4 nil up. 
facing up now and he is coming forward pushes the ball on the onside will in fact get a single so tough uh, proposition here for uh, the Ghanese batsmen who have had it uh, sorry the Trinidad and Tobago batsmen they've had to really struggle and struggling they are and uh, they really don't seem to be doing anything extraordinary to get a success story here as uh, Lewis is coming forward and looking to drive that the ball goes down to the long on area why this long on they will come back for the second run as the return comes in so two more to the total yeah good piece of running there by the two train down to be a good boss man two runs down to the long area yeah that's a uh, good shot just uh, behind square on the offside, the batsman get another run. So I think just about one delivery remaining remaining in this over. It's been uh, a good display of uh, board batting and bowling here by Ghana, who uh, batted well against the Trinidad and Tobago attack and also bowled very well. I think uh, by and large they would be very happy with uh, their overall performance being good all round cricket it was lovely to see them in fact um, really lovely to see them rotating the strike putting pressure on the Trinidad and Tobago fieldsmen when they batted and uh, now they're bowling and uh, they've bowled very well there'll be two runs here as the ball inadvertently goes down to down to a fine leg as the Fielder uh, running after it's Prince. The batsman had time to cross for two. Yeah, Ghana is Ghana is heavy favourites. I mean, this game here today. Um, as you said, the batter there, the rotated is straight well and got a nice total. And um, from the beginning, they, they put the screws on on the train down to Tobago batsman. Yeah, so I just want to apologise to. Viewers uh, just had some um, challenges in regards to uh, scoring here, and uh, they are just working feverishly to get everything up together. So, meanwhile, we just allow you to at least be able to look at the game and see what happened. We won't be able to give you scores for a, a little while. Yeah, but I thought that the batting effort of Trinidad and Tobago was uh, has been rather feeble. Yeah, the response, no the response were, was not not as good as I thought it would be. They didn't respond at all. Yeah, there was no urgency about it, and they seem to have come out uh, even without a game plan. It's been a. Uh, a very good performance, however, by Ghana. Was batted very well and bowled well. Mm -hmm. They synchronized the effort very well indeed. Yeah. See, technology giving us some problems at the moment. And you know, John, John Hippie Griffith, my score from about one at Carlton. Always scores in the book. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Uh, oh, that's brilliant. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Taken there at a shortish mid wicket. Oh, you would be proud of that at any level at all. Whatsoever. That was a fantastic catch. Diving the way to his left and taking a brilliant catch. Oh, that looks like Mentor. If it were him, it was absolutely brilliant. We're going to just complimenting their batting and the bowling. With the feeling of yes, that was a great catch. Really, was a great catch. Hmm. Mm. So, Yashir Dean will now come in to strike. His new batsman 
There is Dean. Whoa. That was a great catch, wasn't it? A fantastic catch. Really good catch. That ball was struck powerfully. Yes. The mm -hmm. anticipation was great. Mm -hmm. Between that and further trouble. Yeah. I don't think they can redeem themselves here at all. I think the score is no 48, though. 48. Scoreboard is saying 48 at the moment. Yeah, there is a, a, a manual scoreboard way to uh, far eastern end. And uh, listeners, don't forget that Shirley Clark's got 2020 vision, <laughs> very much in contrast to mine. <laughs> so if you it better that you take it from him yeah. Yeah. and he's picking that up quite easily yeah. yes uh, delivery that goes that is just pushed and on the edge rather and uh, went down just by fine leg for a single. Nice play to delivery there with the ball. Huh? So, Danish Passad for Guyana. Just trying to sink maybe the nail into the coffin. Definitely. Good delivery to end there. So, Guyana, you just look at the movement, suggest that victory is all over them. Yeah, Trinidad 49, and um, let's like this is the 13th overnow beginning. All right, so just a couple of overs remaining. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be outside the off stump. I was looking to cut that down behind square. But it uh, has been a feeble effort by Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Again, we just want to let you us know that we've been having some scoring issues uh, up here. The catch is going to be taken down at long off. So another wicket goes. Yeah, again, I have no issues in catching the ball. Another box not going. But they have been catching very well. Yeah. So, Trinidad and Tobago losing another one. They're really losing the way. Mm. It's been a dismal, really dismal performance by yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. Well. So... Well, we can tell you unofficially it's 54 for 5 after, after 12, so three of us to go. Gonzales seem to be the new batsman. So 54 for 5. Yeah, we're into over number 13. Outside the off stump, the ball is uh, just pushed down to behind the square and uh, gets a single. So, one more to the total is now gone to all the fives 55 for five. Gonzalez now comes into strike, will be facing his first ball. Yashir has, is two of three deliveries. We're into over number 13. Mahabir from the far end. Moves in now to bowl to Gonzales. First delivery he's facing. And he's off the front foot. Pushes it out to cover. Gets a single. So he's off the mark. He'll be delighted in getting off the mark. Total has gone by one now to 56 for five. Brings uh, Yashir Dean into strike who is on two. As uh, here once more is Mobier. From the far end, he's going to be bowling over the wicket. And he's going to be bowling to Dean. Here he is. Bowls, who is coming forward. The ball peels off the outer portion of the bat. 
will go down to third man. They will come back for the second run as uh, the return comes in from Shane Prince. And they had sufficient time to cross for the second run. So two more to the total. They have, they've got one shot. Sorry. So it's a customary thing. Every day we've seen short runs <laughs> in the one shot in the tournament. 57 now for five. Uh, Marbier once more will get prepared to bowl to Yashir Dean who is on uh, three. He's faced four deliveries. Gonzalez looks on from the non-striker's end. He's leaning on his back. Did well behind the stumps. That's here is Mobir in now to bowl to Dean who's just pulled away, not quite ready. He's there now, settles over his back and bowls onto the back foot, onto the front foot rather, pushed out to short extra cover and uh, there is no run. So Trinidad and Tobago, they're going to lose this one and lose it uh, big time. Mobir in again to bowl to to Dean who comes forward pushes it out on the offside they've got to hurry for the single they get there because the fielder coming in from short extra cover uh, sort of ran the ball fell over in the process and uh, they got one so the over has come to an end and at the end of the over 58 for 5 Dean is on 4 Gonzalez on 1 and uh, Gainda has uh, picked up 1 of two overs, four runs. So, Trinidad and Tobago will be very displeased with the effort. It's been a, not the best one in the world. As it's going to be Passad. Bowls. Uh, the ball is hit down to backward point they get a single so one more to the total it's gone to 59 for one brings Gonzales into strike as Passad once more from the northern or Dabo end he's going to bowl round the wicket to bowl to Gonzales 59 for five here he is there now and bowls Gonzales gets a flighted delivery could do no more and push it back on the onside of the wicket as the bowler on his follow through picks up and uh, there is no run still 59 for 5 here is a delivery that uh, brings Gonzalo forward hits the ball down to long on will get a single ball doesn't carry right down to the field of uh, position down there seem to be mentor and the total goes by one now to 60 for five over number 14 in progress as it's once more Passat in to bowl to Dean who comes forward plays it up in front of him on the offside no aggressive intention there dot ball I think so Trent are almost given up yeah mm. Danish Passat once more in and bowl to Dean Dean comes forward and Drives the ball up to long off. Now they've hustled for one. Will come back for the second. No, they decide against it as the return comes to the non strikers end. So, how many more balls to bowl in that over? We still got another one to go. So, it's been a tidy over so far, far by Danish Passad. Just the three runs coming off. And let's see whether he can make this one a tidy one. He's going to move into bowl to Gonzalez, who is. Looking to pull that through mid wicket succeeds in doing that too, uh, but would con would get only a single. So that completes the over by Passad, a good one there that yielded I think uh, just about four runs, and at the end of 14, Trinidad and Tobago 62 for five, 62 for five, uh, Gonzalez will be taking strike keys on three, and uh, the Trinidad and Tobago team can now begin to think about conceding victory yeah definitely so again again a heavy favorites as i said before <laughs> <laughs> to win this game yeah this is an impossible task so mentor 
He's going to be bowling the final over and he's going to move in out to bowl to Gonzalez. Nail in the coffin. Maybe not pushed right through, but we know it won't be hard for the hammer to just drive that final nail through. Ghana will be very pleased with the performance. So gain now. Bowls down the leg side, turn neatly down to the fine leg area. They've gone for one, won't come back for the second. It looked as though, well, wide signal by the umpire. It looks as though uh, Gonzal was interested in the second run. But uh, Yasir Dean said no, he preferred to take the strike. Maybe felt that there was too much dangers involved as Gainda moves in to bowl to Dean now. This is the final over, and uh, to this delivery, it's outside the arch stump, opens the face of the bat, gets a, a run. So Prince moving across to his right. Had quite a bit of work to do today. 65 for five over number 15 in progress. Pulled by Gainda, he's there now, and uh, that delivery he is coming forward and not with any great sense of conviction, that's Gonzales. He remains on three, 65 for five, as Arun Gainda comes in again and bowls to Gonzales. Gonzales is off the back foot, pushes it up just in front of Square on the offside, will get a comfortable single. So he has moved on to four. Yashir Dean is on seven, will be taking strike, 66 for five. This is the final over in progress. Three legal deliveries to come as Dean will be facing up to gain that. 66 for 5. And bright sunshine, Trinidad and Tobago. Well, they're going to go under with this one. Ashir Dean takes strike. Here's gain that now in to bowl to Dean who to this delivery well he just pulls away maybe wasn't quite ready yes he settles over his back now again there is in now and bowls and to this delivery he's getting a flatter one faster one that he hits well down to a widish long off will come back for the second run so he gets two he's now gone on now to nine and the total has pushed on to 68 for five. So just two, one delivery remaining. Am I right? Here's a delivery that is hit down to the long off boundary. They will come back for the second run and that's all there be. So that's the, oh, just one more to go. I reckon 70 for five. Here's the final delivery of this innings. In now, bowls, and he's down the track, leaves that down to the deep extra cover area, and uh, they m that's not fielded very well by the fielder down there at uh, deep whitish uh, mid off, and they get two. So that completes the innings there by Trinidad and Tobago. At the end of the innings, 72 for five, 72 for five. So uh, Guyana having won this game and won quite handsomely and uh, they, they outplayed Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, definitely so. Uh, from the time they batted first, uh, how they rotated his strike, you know, and um, get the boundary hitting in. They, they amassed a, a nice score and made it almost impossible for Trinidad to chase. So 96 for 5 uh, was the Ghana total and uh, Trinidad and Tobago fell short by 24 runs by 24 runs and so Trinidad and Tobago they have won this and won this rather comprehensively well um, Brendan Boudou was caught to Kubir of the bowling of Khan he went for four uh, Batu Singh was run out by Dave Mahabir uh, a combination of Mahabir and Gainda for 19 30 balls won four Zain Maraj was led before to Arun Ganga for eight, faced 21 balls, struck one four. Malik Lewis was caught. Jonathan Mentor of the bowling of uh, Mohbir. 
he went for eight, 13 balls. Ronaldo, 4 nila. Nilia, he was uh, caught Jonathan Mentor of the bowling of Danish Passad. He went for five. Yasir Dean, not out 13, 13 balls, scored a runner ball. And Ian Gonzalez, not out uh, four of six deliveries, 72 for five, 72 for five. Extras were in fact 11 made up of six wise, four buys, and one no ball. Let's go to the bowling. I see Afi, as Arif Khan, he bowled two overs, no men, picked up one for 10. Shane Prince had none for 16 of three. La Rose had none for three of two. Arun Gainda, one for 14 of three. Dave Mahabir, one for 17 of three. And Danish Prasad bowled just a two overs, eight runs and captured a wicket so that's the situation here um in this second match between trinidad and tobago and guyana scores in the match uh, guyana uh, who set a victory target of 96 trinidad and tobago fell short of it they could only muster 72. so that's the situation with our uh, second match and i'm sure that trinidad and tobago uh would be a bit uh displeased with their batting and I dare say that uh, Ghana they play what you may call I would think maybe the perfect match Ali oh Ali wasn't <laughs> quite ready for me but we don't have much to say sorry about Ali didn't see that you didn't have you on your headphone so folk we are gonna be back here um, for our next match uh, congratulations to Ghana who has defeated Trinidad and Tobago in our second match for the day so third match is going to be coming up just stay tuned and we'll be on hand to bring you coverage